It's the alchemy of recession. When times are tough, we turn to that most malleable of metals, the bedrock of bling, number 79 on the periodic table of elements. That is pure gold. One kilo of pure gold. How much is that worth? This is worth about $35,500 today. Alchemists were medieval prophets for profit, trying to transform worthless metal into something of enduring value. Here's money with gold at an all-time high. Not all that different from Ed McMahon. You're on water, gold for cash. But these days, it's not just the insomniacs watching infomercials who are looking to cash in. I can get cash for this gold medallion of me wearing a gold medallion. It's high-end folks as well. Check out the latest display at Harrods Department Store in London. The idea is that you are able to come in and depending on the size of the purchase, you are able to literally uh, purchase gold and walk away with it. Gold bullion sold retail, the ultimate stocking stuffer. Check it out, check it out, top dollar for your scrap jewelry. There's a bona fide gold rush going on. It may not look like the Klondike with Charlie Chaplin. Far into the icy north, deep into the silent nowhere, came an undaunted lone prospector. It may not look like the treasure of the Sierra Madre. Gold. But people are digging in Grandma's cupboards, panning for nuggets. 75% off. Walk down 47th Street, and everyone seems to be prospecting. But the prices people pay vary greatly, so seller beware. It's a serious chain. Places like U.S. gold buyers in New York City pay 96% for 24 karat gold. And this is the highest concentrated test, it's 22 carats, so. So he's in, he's in luck. He's in luck. This one, one gold chain turns out to be the mother load. He gives us $11,628. $11,628? Are you serious? Well, congratulations. $11,000. 11000 <laughs> 11, You want to cash a check? No, so, but I gotta call my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad payout for a single piece of bling. What are you gonna do with the money? Um, probably pay off my student loans and um, invest in a car. The gold that's turned in this way doesn't have to travel very far. Just across 47th Street in a nondescript building up on the sixth floor, we visited Devere and Stoller Refining. One of our customers just brought in the uh, some gold. He claims that it's 14 carat. Uh, it's one what of the got there? It looks like rings. Rings, bracelets, necklaces. Earrings. Earrings that appear to be Here's hollow. Devere and Stoller is an urban foundry. Right here on the sixth floor, they fire up the furnace and melt it right down. In less than five minutes, the treasures of a lifetime are gone. In their place, cold, hard cash. Well, not quite cold. That's now, amazing. Now we wait a couple minutes, it'll cool. The gold, the metal, is solid underneath here already. Everybody All of this there. right in Midtown Manhattan. In Midtown Manhattan. And what does it say to you about the state of the economy that people are doing this with? People are doing this to pay their bills. Not a very good place to be. Well, there's something sad about it, really. I mean, here you had maybe somebody's favorite earrings. Correct. But for, their for, wedding band, for, uh, crucifix. Yes. And now it's just a lump. An hour into the business, there's no sentimental value. Or there's no work. The workmanship means nothing to us. It's just a matter of how much gold content is in it. What's driving all this? To find out, we went to the New York Mercantile Exchange, where the real modern alchemists work their magic. And this is gold? Uh, this is gold over here. Uh, this is the gold options pit right over here. Traders in this pit, and others just like it around the world, determine what an ounce of gold is worth right now. The process is baffling, but the price is now at a record high with huge volatility. In the few short minutes we filmed there, it dropped $9 and then rallied $4. Say you were short 10, 10 lots there. You made $9,000 on the way down. You just made, if you bought them down there, you made another 4000 on the way up. Hmm. So that's the, that's the volatility. So you've been doing this 20 years? Uh, I've been down here for 25 on the floor. I've been and trading for 20. In terms of the volume of trades that you're making, how big of a difference is it at this moment? It's dramatic. I, I've never seen the volatility like this. He explains that what's going on with gold is in some ways a measure of people's uncertainty about the rest of the economy. When your house seems like it might be a shaky investment, when stock prices seem like they're not to be trusted, 
when the government seems to be spending money so fast it might not be worth the paper it's printed on, gold starts to look pretty good. Where do you see the price going? I think 1200 by the end of the year, absolutely. Crucially, it's not just small investors who are buying. Earlier this month, the Reserve Bank of India purchased 220 tons of gold to offset its foreign currency reserves. Many analysts took that to be a sign that India is hedging its bets. At some level, does this become bad news for the U.S. Treasury? Well, I think it is bad news. I think that right now the government is kind of in a little bit of a pickle, and that's why people are worried about holding dollars. They're going to be buying gold. The romance of gold. Gold finger. The sex appeal of the stuff, that's for the movies. It's gone the way of James Bond and pussy galore. The girl's dead. She's covered in paint. Gold paint. Folks in the trade told us even the jewelry stores are probably just biding their time, waiting out one last Christmas shopping season. After that, much of what's still left on the shelves will end up in places like Devere and Stoller. In the old days, it might have been turned into jewelry again, but in the alchemy of recession, it's just an unromantic lump of cash. So now what happens to that? This will go to a lab, get assayed, Within 24 to 48 hours, we'll know exactly the gold content of the bar. Turns out that little scrap was only 55% pure, worth a little over 1,200 bucks. More than it was ever worth before, except perhaps when it was still someone's anniversary present. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York.